it finally came. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that this is a proud moment that I have now received my certificate from the Institute of Personal Care Science. If you're on YouTube, I'm sure you've seen their channel. I have hinted to you guys throughout the entire year that I was working on this. It took me nine months to finish, which is about what they say. And I was waiting until I got this paper in my hand to give you guys a thorough review of the course, give you my experience. Um, I know I told you that I loved it all the way through, but give you some more information to figure out if it's worth doing for yourself, where in your business it might benefit. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. By no means am I getting paid. I paid for this with my, my own money and um, they have not sponsored anything. This is literally my opinion. So I can't share any um, course materials or information that they gave because obviously I've paid for it and that would not be fair to them. But I will give you my opinion and experience and some info that may help you decide if it's worth doing for yourself. So the first thing that you're probably wondering is what do you actually learn? And it's a lot. You get access to a Dropbox file with everything in it and it's a lot of information. Somebody who had been sort of, you know, formulating a little bit myself, this is everything you need to know. So you learn everything about compliance. So which ingredients to actually be able to put in products to sell in Europe, in Japan, in Australia. And there are a lot of regulations that those countries and areas have that we don't in the US. So those that was that chapter was a lot, but it was a lot of very useful information because I obviously am somebody who is interested in a little bit more of the clean beauty and there's a lot of ingredients that are banned in the EU. This chapter goes into everything. I feel like I'm very well versed on what can be sold. I also feel confident that the products I have in my brand can be sold in these regions. So I'm excited about that because I wasn't really sure beforehand and now I have confidence and know which is a huge um, ability to expand my business to be able to ship outside of the US. So compliance and regulations was huge and then of course you learn about ingredients everything from preservatives to emulsifiers to surfactants to how they all go together you actually learn about hair care and everything skincare so you learn to do shampoos and face wash and body lotion and serums and all things with actives there's an entire chapter on that you learn how to do sunscreens and there are other courses if you sign up for the diploma program i know there's a little bit of confusion i signed up for the certificate program it was a little bit less intense and i still feel like i got everything out of it that i need to to become a cosmetic formulator it is really all-encompassing when it comes to what you learn i feel like i could go into a sephora turn a product around. I may have to look a few ingredients up because there's so many ingredients, but learn the ingredients labels, be able to read, be able to understand why glycerin is in there, why xanthan gum is in there. It is really interesting once you find out why certain things are in there. A lot of it has to do with marketing and that was something that I kind of thought about, but I never really understood <laughs> that there was so much being put into product simply for a marketing story. So that was a little disheartening, but that's our industry and you learn all of that and you learn different, uh, you learn everything you need to know to be able to formulate pretty much everything that you would find in a Sephora, Ulta, CVS, what have you. The other piece that you learn that I thought has been completely invaluable is the stability and pH testing. Stability more so than anything. So the amount of microbes and bacteria that you could possibly have in your product and how to properly test that, the incubation that you have to go through, the plates to be able to test and see, not everything is to the naked eye. There could be some serious bacteria growing in your lotion that you don't know about unless you test it. It doesn't mean if you open it up and it looks okay that it's fine. That is not true. And so that was another push as to why I felt like I wanted to go to manufacturing because the more you scale up, the more 
area in my opinion there is to have something like that go wrong and it even could be from the storage of your raw materials that could cause bacteria just learning everything was incredibly overwhelming but it also gave me the ability to know when i'm communicating with my manufacturer when they say okay we're going to be going into stability testing I know exactly what they're doing. I know exactly what temperatures and what type of incubation and what length of incubation is what I meant to say, but all of that, I understand the back end and it's made me feel more confident and I will be able to interpret the results that come back when we get the stability testing and understand shelf life um, and all of that information that is so vital to be, to put, be putting out safe products. Part of the course that I absolutely loved is the practical activities. When you sign up for the course, you get sent actual ingredients in a huge box and you are formulating. So this is not just a course where you're reading and just sort of filling out a little test, multiple choice, absolutely not. The assessments and the tests are incredibly robust and intense and the practicals you are making products and you have to photograph and share your products with the trainers so that they know you're doing everything properly and they can evaluate what you're doing which i think is fabulous because it also again gives you confidence to know that you are understanding what you're learning in the textbooks translating it into a formula making it in its physical form and they're guiding you through that whole process but then you actually you know get a check that you've done it correctly i did add on a color cosmetics additional course to the certificate and with those i actually had to create my formulas and send them back to australia and have them evaluated so it is definitely legit it is real that you are sending stuff and when you send your assessments in, the team there is so great. They review it and they review it in a fairly quick time period. I think it's less than a week. I got my results back as far as my test. And if you like fail, they don't really tell you that you fail, but they would ask you in some situations to go back and reassess some of the questions and they want a little bit more information or you got it wrong. And so you do have the ability to give it a second chance. It is not um, super cut and dry. I think at the end of the day, the team at IPCS, they want you to be successful. They wanna guide you into learning everything. And if you put the time in, they can see that you are putting that time in and doing the work yourself. And so if you get two or three questions wrong in your assessment, they're just sort of gonna nudge you a little bit and say like, hey, you got this one wrong. Can you just go back and give us a second chance? And uh, that happened to me a couple times and it was great and I passed. So don't don't get scared that like if you get something wrong you're like done for and then you you've invested all your money in this program and then you don't get the certificate all of that i think that they are very um, available to coaching and helping you even before the assessments if you need help they are there there are trainers to help you if you are stuck on a certain subject how long does it take it's very dependent on each individual and your life but it took me nine months to complete I hit the ground running when I got my materials back in June and I was like, I'm going to finish this in a couple months and then life hits you. Uh, so you get through a good chunk and the chemistry stuff got me. There were some chapters that I needed to go over two, three, and four times. And there are video sections and book sections that you can, you know, use depending upon how you learn best and you do all of it. but. There were times I'd have to go back and watch Belinda's videos multiple times over and over. Um, and these are videos that are not on YouTube, by the way, just so you know. She has an entire YouTube channel, and some of those videos get incorporated into the training, but for the most part, these are separate training videos that are not on YouTube. So also don't think that you're paying them thousands of dollars to watch their free YouTubes. No, you are paying them thousands of dollars to learn the foundations of being a cosmetic chemist. And I know I've mentioned a little bit about the price, but it has gone up a little bit since I applied simply from um, inflation and prices raising and everything. I still think it's incredibly affordable if you are looking to up your skills in formulation. It is currently sitting at, I believe, $2,000 for the certificate class that I took. And there is a study only option, but I really enjoyed doing the full course, having the assessments and getting my work checked. It gives me the confidence to know that I got it right 
versus just doing the study materials but I understand if price is already an issue and you want to get the materials and you feel like you can do self-guided then by all means do that but I did the um, actual course and I did that uh, certificate course linked with the cosmetic course the color cosmetic course is another 1200 so I think I spent around $3,500 to do all of the courses and originally I wanted to just take the cosmetic color cosmetic course but it is a prerequisite that you do the certificate so I was like you know fine I'll do it I don't really want to but I'll do it and now I completely understand why it's a prerequisite you want the information and that core foundation of information from the certificate program to be able to understand uh, the other study you know extensions that they offer so if you were just trying to take the color cosmetic course none of it would make sense to you because you didn't really have that foundation of basic formulating skills beforehand and when i say basic it's still much more elevated than most people so uh, I think that link linking those together and they did give me a little bit of a discount. I'm not sure it was like maybe like a hundred or two hundred dollar discount to do them together and it was great because they sort of intertwined them so it wasn't like finish your certificate and then do your color cosmetics. It was woven together very nicely. I have heard some other programs that are out there and I'm not going to name names but I think some of them are even taught by people who don't have a background in cosmetic chemistry, but Belinda does. She is incredibly knowledgeable, and I think that it is an investment that you can believe you're getting the correct information. There are a lot of people who pretend they're experts and just to get your money, and they're really convincing, and it seems really good because they use all the buzzwords. I really trust Belinda in this program. I had done a lot of research beforehand and I'm so glad I chose this one because it is, in my opinion, the only one that you should be taking if you're genuinely serious about learning cosmetic formulation and you don't want to go to an actual school. If you were to go to a school and get a degree in chemistry and then get your master's and all that stuff, obviously you'll learn a lot more there. But from an online school perspective, I think this is like the best program you could choose. So who is it for and who is it not for? I would say it is for people who are looking at doing any kind of cosmetic business, whether it's for themselves or formulating for somebody else. I personally feel so much more confident as a business owner speaking about products and ingredients. I sort of knew a little bit before, but now I know a lot more and I feel so much more intelligent in the subject. And I feel like it's gonna help my business. The way I see it working is now that I'm manufacturing, I am the formulator. So I've been working on some new products for myself for down the road. I can formulate those myself. I've learned about the industry and materials and I'm starting to develop relationships with suppliers not like a wholesale supplies plus they're great for our smaller crafters but there are millions of ingredients that us homemade handmade makers don't have access to you have to develop a relationship with those vendors this course gives you that information who to talk to and you start to work with these companies and that has been huge so it's for people who see this as their full-time job, see it as something they are going to do for a very long time because you are going to be putting a lot of your own personal time and effort into studying and you have to make sure that the end result is going to obviously benefit and hopefully you'll make some of your money back with the skills that you've learned. I don't think this course is for somebody just starting out. I think that having a little bit of an understanding and a background on how to do emulsions and different things helped me tremendously in this course. I feel like I would have been really stuck if I didn't know some of those even more basic things. It's not to say that you can't do it if you are a true, true beginner, but I just think that it could feel incredibly overwhelming if you have never touched anything in the personal care world as far as making it yourself. Um, it, it could be a little overwhelming for you, but I don't want to say never because everyone is individual and different.
Overall, I think that this course was worth my time and money. It was not always easy. I definitely had moments where I thought about giving up because I just had so much going on in the holiday season with my own business that it was incredibly hard to balance, but I powered through and I'm so proud of myself for doing it and I see the benefits of it now and it is so fun you guys to now go into the studio get out my ingredients and play or to go into a Sephora flip a bottle around and know exactly why things are in there and what that means and how to decipher it and have confidence that I could probably make that product myself so I hope that that answered all of your questions, I know it was a rambly video, but there was, you know, nine months of work to condense into like a 15 minute video for you. And if you have questions that I didn't answer, by all means, leave them down below. I will try to answer them there. Overall, I think the program is fabulous. I think Belinda is legit. I think that if you have any desire to learn more about formulation, stop wasting your time on blogs, stop looking at different things online and Googling ingredients. Spend your time with Belinda, put the time in, you will be amazed at the kind of information that they offer you and how much more confident you'll be in creating your products down the road. So anyway, I hope you guys have fun and if you do sign up, let me know and if you ever get low, I'll try to be some encouragement for you because it can be tough. Oh, that actually reminds me, there is a Facebook group that they have for students. Once you apply, you can go into the Facebook group and it's fabulous. You can tell people what's wrong with your um, ingredient, like with your formula, if it's falling apart, what separation, what should I do? And there's a nice little community of people there that have either gone through the course already or are going through it. And it's a great place to meet some new people that are in the same stage as you while you are taking the course. So yeah, I hope you guys found it useful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.